اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to search for a theory. Now again it's very important that one understand what a theory is. Now, without understanding what the theory is and how it is used in research and how do we make theoretical contributions you cannot make the best use of ChatGPT. So as with all my other videos I will again reemphasize first understand the concept of research how every section should be written and in this case what the theory is how it is used what is a theoretical framework and how to contribute to the theory now let's say this is my sample framework and i'm interested in finding out what theory can i use to explain the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior or servant leadership and identity empowerment any particular relationship i want to find out so how will i use chat gpt to get that particular theory that is helpful for me to explain these relationships now before i move on i would like to briefly explain what is a theory now theories have the potential to explain a phenomenon now for example you do not have any research whatsoever with regards to two variables that you want to relate now a theory can help you explain that phenomenon that how these two concepts are related now what it does is it this this puts theoretical work squarely ahead of mere descriptive or survey work which just states phenomena as they are now theory is necessary and useful in most business and management research examiners expect to see propositions and hypotheses supported by theory or theoretical concepts perspectives and for empirical findings to be explained in light of theory now if you do not have a theory in your model now this weakens your research and this weakens your contribution towards knowledge for example theories may be used to explain why some companies are more successful than others theories can be used to provide both predictions and explanations Now what does theory theories do is the theories do this by specifying how different concepts or phenomena relate with one another and why these concepts or phenomena relate to each other in the way they do so why is this relationship like this for example i want to explain why servant leadership will help me improve environmental behavior within my organization or how servant leadership improves environmental behaviors within the organization a theory can help me explain this relationship now the most important aspect or element of a theory is the why element why are the factors related and this is the key and particularly important theoretical contribution so you are explaining the relationships in light of a theory and this is in particular your contribution now i've done quite a few videos on theory and theoretical contributions all those will be shared in the description as well now moving on again i will use in conjunction to chat gpt i will use a google scholar not mendeley in this case there is a video on it and that will that link will be shared so in conjunction with chat gpt i will use a google scholar to search for relevant papers because as mentioned in the last session as well that sometimes or rather most of the times chat gpt will give you incorrect references so i'm going to use these particular strings with google scholar now how do you use chat gpt to search for a theory let's say i've got chat gpt here and let me ask let me prompt chat gpt i am conducting a research on servant leadership and environmental behavior what theory can i use to explain the relationship between the two let's see what we get 
So you can use social learning theory. Now you need to first understand what social learning theory is. And then only you will be able to understand, okay, can you use it or not? Now again, there is a very important point here. Social learning theory is when an individual or team is learning from the behaviors of the leader. But what if I'm measuring environmental behavior at organizational level? So what will I say? Okay, if you are measuring it at individual level, well, this theory is quite applicable. And this is how you can use it. Let's say, let me ask, are there any supporting references? So here are a few supporting references. Obviously, this needs to be searched again from Google Scholar that if these papers exist or not. Now, if these papers do not exist, then obviously you will have to search for new references based on the text that has been provided. But again, read through this text. Does it make sense in your case? If it not, if it doesn't, then you need to read further. But this is a very good starting point. But I'm not measuring environmental behavior at individual level. I'm measuring environmental behavior at organizational level. I am measuring Let's see. Okay, the spelling is wrong, but let's see what we get. So you can use theory of planned behavior if you're using it at organizational level. Now, again, this needs to be checked. Whether with servant leadership and environmental behavior or environmental behavior at organizational level, theory of planned behavior has been used or not. Now, how do we check that? Let's say what we go here, what we do here is let's get this. Let's get our Google Scholar. So servant leadership. Now environmental behavior can be written with O-U-R or simply O-R. And then I'm searching for theory. Let's see what theories have been used. So maybe these are the theories that have been used. Now you need to open these papers, read through as to how they explain this relationship. Now, again, let's say I'm interested in a particular theory. And in this case, theory of planned behavior. So let's press enter. And has it been used? Well, yes, it has been used. Theory of planned behavior. Now open these papers and see if they have used theory of planned behavior as uh, recommended by chat GPT. Now you need to read through these papers. And let's say if I write here instead of environmental behavior, you can check, let's say organizational environmental behavior and see if you get something. But in most cases, this is not enough. You will have to open these papers and read through these papers, read through that theory as well. Understand that theory. Okay, what is meant by that theory and can it be used at organizational level or has it been used at organizational level or not? So what we can do is you know, let's change this string slightly. And let's say if it has been used with organizational level variables. And let's say if it has been used in environmental context. So now I'm searching for theory of planned behavior in context of organization and with environment as well. So now you can use or open these papers and see if and how theory of planned behavior has been used. And it has been used with environmental or environment related vari variables within the context of the organization. So this is how you can see that a particular theory has been used in a particular context or not. And this is how you can use ChatGPT 
to prompt chat gpt ask chat gpt okay these are the relationships that i want to check let's say can you provide a theory that can explain the relationship between servant leadership and self identity okay so here is a social or a now here is self categorization theory so is there a theory like self categorization let's see let's copy it and paste it here so there is a self categorization theory read about it see what it is social identity theory and self categorization theory now in majority of the cases now this is a good thing in majority of the cases leadership and identity has been explained with social identity theory but self categorization theory well i'm not sure but obviously once you read you can see whether or not existing research has used this theory to explain this relationship if not this can be a very major contribution towards the theory so this is how you can use chat gpt for searching a particular theory and further explanation thank you very much